Not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. With them cheesy movies, the worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends Robot roll call camera Servo Gypsy Crow If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts just to beat yourself, it's just a show I should really just relax For oh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 Clay! Clay, did you see this? We got a letter from the Mad Scientist League They say they were going to revoke our licenses That we're not it. really mad enough I know. Look, it says here, at best, we're mildly peeved researchers. Researchers? Ooh. That hurts. I haven't been in research since I was at the U doing kitchen cabinet analysis for Ken Keller's house. Well, what about those two years at the Pentagon? Well, it was two weeks, really. I got paid for two years. It's a good gig. <laughs> uh, mildly peeved researchers. You know what this means, don't you? We'll have to change our name tags? Well, well no. Uh, well, it means no more uh, fat research grant. No more large funded laboratory. And no more Jolie and the robots. Well, that's not necessarily such a bad thing. Well, maybe, but consider this. We'll have to go back to work in the private sector. No, not back to fruit inspection. <laughs> I'm afraid so. You know, we can't make it by on cuteness alone. You know, you, we're, we're, we're not mild-mannered matinee hosts. We're mad scientists, damn it! Well, it's not our fault, though. It's, look at the movies. You know, Superdome, SST Death Flight, what's this week's City on Fire? Oh, it's not our fault. Where's the science? Well, well, well the, the, the science comes in in taking a group of grade B actors, uh, sticking them in a, a overproduced, uh, horribly written, uh, made-for-TV disaster film, which happens to be a, a vehicle for Barry Newman, and, and packaging the thing and sending it out to the common man and making millions of dollars off of it. it it's it's kind of like uh, giving cancer to lab rats. I don't really follow. Well... Here, let's go watch the, uh, the movie, City on Fire, and I think you'll get my point. All right. Oh, good. It can happen in any city to any person. So like what? Barry Newman. So stop watching TV and get ready for the big, huge fire. The apocalypse that could happen this Sunday night. Susan Clark, that's when Webster was just a baby they filmed this. He's three inches long. He's three inches long, he must have been about 12. Shelly Winters. She's playing that building. Very convincingly, I might add. That's just her skirt. Such a big glass area. City on fire! James Franciscus as a monk. Eva Gardner. <laughs> Sandy Howard, Ron Howard's sister. The Macaulay Brothers. Nary a better force in the world of music than the Macaulay Brothers.
I bet this was made in Canada. We. Oui. Ah. She's a beauty, Dad, but uh, a 47 footer? His you girlfriend? my age, you just don't piddle around. Oh, Jeannie's I think not going to like this. Try smiling a lot. You guys are going all the way, eh? Dad's buying the boat. So I'm just paying for the anchor. If you need a crew cut, me in. You're in. He already got a crew cut. Two months. They, he's still bleeding from his crew cut. Off. <laughs> well, that's what you said last year and the year before. And the year yeah. before, the year before. And, and the, the year, year before, before that. Yeah, this before time, that. and I'm, I told before. him so. I've got this incurable affection. It's called sea fever. <laughs> that's well, why he's got that course. itch. That shot of the butt. Better put on our coats. Time to go back and look dorky. Chief? Captain? They have a singing telegram business. They gotta get to it. Morning, Chief. Morning, Andrew. Boy, somebody really marked up the floor mica. Oh, that's the person. I got one of those the other day. This guy showed up in a devil suit. The singing pentagram. Oh, brother. Oh, this looks good. Oh, the. Oh. Detergent? I guess it's a health shake. You're soaking in it. Edit. It's good with the eggshells in it. Adds body. Fiber. He needs those special glasses so his nose doesn't he's get that he won't even be able to hold soup. Barry can't eat solid food. What is that? Breakfast. Samrock shake. Breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. Don't eat it, drink it. Mm. Can I rub it on you? Yeah, you wouldn't. Looks like somebody okay. already ate it once. He pitted out that shirt already. It's the first thing in the morning. You sweat a lot when you drink raw eggs. I borrowed this, do you mind? No, it looks better on you. It well, looks better without tonight. it. Tonight? Gee, no, I can't. I, I got a lecture. Afterwards? I'll make you dinner. Dinner? No, no, no. I don't eat dinner. There's you another okay? woman. I'll grind yeah. you up a side of beef in a blender and serve it to you as a shake. Listen, I'm uh, sorry I gotta go now, but uh, just uh, close the door behind you when you leave. Hmm? And leave the robe and your clothing. She's never gonna see him again. Not if he drives like that all day. He gets more done by 9 o'clock than most of us do all day. That's where the chief surgeon died. Got hit by that car. Just wanted his job. Morning, Dr. Whitman. He's a self-starter. Morning, Dr. Whitman. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Hi. Morris. Good morning. Morning. Dr. Hello, Denton, Stubbs. report to surgery. Dr. Denton. Dr. Denton. Good morning, Dr. Denton. Morning. Report to the JAMA ward, Dr. Denton. Morning. Dr. Seuss to the drawing room. Good morning. Cue the famous has-been actress. Gowns by Miss Piggy of Hollywood. Good morning, Miss Grayson. Morning. Good morning, Miss Grayson. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Put the doobage away. Sorry, forgot you quit. He regained his sight. Listen, run this over with Freddie, will you? Sure thing, Jimbo. Gotta have a word with Lucretia Borgia. Good luck. Ah, good morning, Princess. Morning. Morning, good everybody. Morning. Uh, schmuck, Fulton. Couldn't you find somebody better? Hey, what about that stuff on Diana Brockhurst? How good is it? Oh, it's good. Three minutes. Sure? Sure. Uh -huh. Must be worth at least one good minute, eh? 
you. Check. Bro. She almost got some on him. Ew. She drinks that green stuff, too. Got all the egg This is Maggie Grace. We like Can you tell? News and No. Can you tell she's computer animated? Our cameras were here last night to greet a local celebrity. And Mayor Dudley and his charming wife were the airport welcome. But only recently widowed from her second husband, the European publishing giant, David Luttrell. I'm in your own television! Diane is here for the dedication of the new hospital, built right smack in the daring downtown the part of our city. Look, it's you! It's you! Diane is our special sender. What were you doing at the airport? You didn't tell me you... Richard's girl. I, I Doesn't look like him at all. Uh, except that I hope you'll all be there for the dedication ceremony tomorrow. <laughs> we all thank you, and we're proud that you're home. The hospital is no memorial to her first husband, the late governor, Paul Brockhurst. She herself has endowed the hospital with a trust of $3 million, a generous gesture. Diane is now worth a modest $35 million. Thank you, Vampira. Welcome home, Diane. And now for the weather forecast. He still didn't tell her what she was doing. Five million dollars. You think he's really happy? Oh, Herman, you did it. I've got an important meeting this morning. Don't forget your lunch. Mr. Clark. Who's Mr. Clark? The candy bar guy. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's open a sandwich shop. We're working on the deal together. Nothing keeps green slimy goop better than a thermos. No wonder this city's gonna be on fire soon. Everybody's drinking that. It must be highly flammable. Only in the digested stage. Discussing the water shortage today is Maggie Grayson's guest. Oh, my God. I think you're on his own and board, but you'd better handle the cash for yourself. And uh, the flowers for Diana's room. It's really good. The mayor's office issued a release indicating that the water reserves were slightly She's over 40%. She's hammered. Uh, my information says that it is much lower than... Tip O'Neill. Of course, you can't tell us where you got that information. Oldman, <laughs> you've been wrong about me, Daddy. Before. Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> or Yoda. <laughs> Paul. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that son of a bitch. He's starting his campaign for mayor. Now, why can't he wait until I'm governor to kick him in the ass? Never get into a fishing contest with a skunk. How do you hey. find out about the water? I feel pretty, oh so pretty. That's littering, pal. Where is that damn violin? Thirteenth floor. Diana, if I were 20 years younger, I'd fight you for him. <laughs> You'd lose. <laughs> this is gonna be something great. She's nothing without Alex Karras. But then so is Alex Karras. Dick Buckus is nothing without Merlin Olsen. And he's nothing without his flowers. They're like a big wad of pansies. Well, just like the good old days, eh? Champagne's the same. What? It must be flat by what now. What does that mean? 
Edith looked good last night. You too. Every inch a governor. I mean, even I'd vote for you. Diana. I still love you. Hello? Monsieur Pierre. Uh, pas maintenant. Non. Uh, rappelez-moi demain à trois heures. No, votre heure. <laughs> c'est bien ça. Au revoir. No time for my roughage snaking, not today. As I was saying, I still love you. I still love you. You remember Saint Tropez? <laughs> this isn't Saint Tropez. I am still the same, and you're still the same. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. No. Mmm. Oh, boy. He'll have some exciting vacation snaps. He can't help but smile. What a lens. Hmm. Refinery, eh? Want to see your hands in the curveball? Don't they say it takes a lot of juice and substitution for a bad script? Hi, I'm the psycho. Damn dirty politicians, they always have to have their finger in the pie. Morning, Andrea. Morning, we lost And she wanted to eat it. For half an hour this morning. Huh? Yes. Doctor will be with you in a moment, Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Adams? Dr. You again? Dr. Masley. This makes uh, the third one in a little over two years? What's the matter, dear? Can't you remember and practice what the doctor taught you? <laughs> Obviously not. You know, she read for this part. It's actually Frank, a B. Arthur part. Would you believe our backup generator has only got half the juice we need? He we drank the rest. This hospital isn't fully operational yet. She was yet. supposed to be part of the... I would be in the... She was a copper girl. Not the here. Dr. Myers, continue with the round, would you please? Are and around and around and around. Let's see, what's this eleven letter oh, word? Oh, uh, doctor, I'd like you to meet one of our new nurses. <coughs> uh, Bless Ron you. Thank you. That's a program How perhaps you shouldn't have put in me. We've met. Nearly blew my I'd head like off. With us, Miss Stoddard. I hardly recognized her with her clothes on. And her hair done, and her makeup on her face. Without that egg solution. Now I know why you have those nude Shelly Winters photos that up in your room, Joel. Time to do something kooky. Miss Clark? <laughs> Come in, Stover. Psycho. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Come in, Stover. You must be the new psycho we Stover. had transferred from Please Herman Stover. An opening in research. Stover. An opening in the uh, boil in the bag category. Isn't he heir to the pizza empire? Research? Interesting opportunities in that branch, you know. We want to know if you can boil pizza in a bag. Twelve years in maintenance, they promised me I'd make foreman. Your aptitude uh -oh. test shows that you'd serve the company better in research and development. He looks like the research I type. I don't know anything about research. I'm in maintenance. I take this to mean that you won't accept the transfer. I want to be foreman. The committee already decided on Kershaw. Kershaw? Doug Kershaw? I ain't working for Kershaw. I already had a better offer to change my name to Chung King. It's the usual severance pay and one week's vacation. You can uh, present this to the paymaster. Don't do it. Don't you know he's unstable? Look at that collar. Did I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Tripper. Strangler. Have I lost until she puked. Have I lost the plot already? Okay, but don't you be late for lunch now. I won't. Come on, sweetheart. Squirt. Do something stupid up there, kid. Push the ladder over. Light a fire. Hey! What's 
you guys doing? It's okay, it's menthol. Oh. That's that's Eddie from Courtship of Eddie's Eddie's Father. But I'll be back as soon Brandon as I can. Brandon Cruz? Oh, if I hear yeah. that one cry, I'll go right up. Okay, thanks. That's Shelly Winter's stand in. Or sit in. Stunt stand in. Hey. Draw one of these, man. To roll in. Uh -oh. Feels good. Suck it in. <coughs> Bad up. luck, three on a match. Light up that Joe, bag and up. take a drag. Well, you got a drag on it, meathead. It'll, It'll make you feel good, feel good, feel good. Oh. Stand back, everybody. Set the treehouse on fire or something with one of those. Oh, Mickey, I, I can't bro. believe it. I'm no. so good. They burn Mickey Mouse. Oh well. There's I one in Florida. I swear I've never seen this movie before in my life. Oh sure you have. It just had a different title and other actors. Camera yeah, versus Jelly Winter. Come on, come on. They're trapped. Get going. Get going. How are we gonna get out of this one? Put some encyclopedias over it. I'm not gonna try it. Mom! It's okay, it's a neighbor's house. Pour gasoline on it. Debbie, make six photocopies of this. Send them out today. Yes, sir. A chain lighter? And get me some coffee. What? I can't hear you, son. I said hello. My number is 720 Birchwood Avenue. Oh, let's go. My number is 720 Birchwood Avenue. Fire in a treehouse. Fire in a treehouse. Boom, 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 boom. Uncle Dick's tracked an old rock canyon. Hurry. What is it, fella? Oh, oh, oh. Dad? Oh, He's trapped? Oh, oh. Under a rock? Down in Dead Rock Canyon? Oh. Auntie M, Auntie M. Wow, this is burning good. <coughs> oh, no. It was funny till there was a kid in there. Don't oh, play with trapped in there too. Don't smoke. Unservo, now that I'm dead, don't smoke. Oh, oh great, we've got, we've oh, got the Keystone cops putting out the fire. Start getting the people out of those houses. We might lose them say? right away, sir. Never mind. Waller, keep the police in touch with the Hebrew, I wouldn't have gotten so far if I wouldn't have smoked. Captain Risley here. Give me the chief, Glad I interrupted you. you. Captain Risley, reporting from Virginia. Why, stop. Hey, we're beginning to annoy ourselves. Cool. Oh God, Harrison. Let's heckle each other. Three brick structures loaded we're about with wood to, and a couple uh... of old garages. Roof's starting to cook, too. Can't hold it. Toss on some Andrew Franks. Company three. They're, oh, that's uh, Henry. Over at the new hospital oh. for the dedication. Get some Captain Ken's well, baked beans out of a real firehouse bank. Well, tell Company three to get their butts over to Brookhouse flavor. Now. Get their butts. Better take some hoses. Right, Captain, your reinforcements It was coming. butts that started this fire. Major wanted a band. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, master control, if you've got a picture. Get him away from that fire. That polyester suit's going to go up in a blaze. Good, a tanker truck. Oh, Christ, Good. come on, you guys, hurry up. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, take five. We're on a break. Thank you, Vampira. Get her off. we got a fire in a treehouse. Jack the Lane. America's number one fitness personality. And the new Jack LaLanne show. Maggie, we've got a picture of number one. Can't you see him drinking goat blood? Now get back. Back. Come on, get back. Get back now. Okay, baby. Oh, Debbie! All right, stay here. Oh my, oh Come on. God, Debbie! There's someone in the house, my dear. Now, everyone stay back. Somebody beat the crap out of her. Captain, oh there's a kid in the house. Debbie. Let's move. Oh, oh. What's that? We we just learned that there's a... Apparently, there's a little girl inside the house. I'm going to try and find out what's going on here. Go in and look for her. I only went to the store for the carrots. Just to the store. Come on, Debbie's up there! What room is she in? Oh. Second floor, back room! Hey, Ger hey! Gerald! No, kid, no! Stand back. No! 
Good boy, back, please. Man, he couldn't even handle a cigarette. How's he gonna walk his way through a blazing hell? Perhaps they're fine. Get back, ma'am. Come on, get back here, please. Jimbo, you're live. He just Remote. saved his life. We'll end the cut. The spreading of the fire with the trap kid, okay? You just stepped over. Oh. He's dressed just like John Denver. Is your daughter in there? Is she in there? Is your daughter inside the door now? I understand Bob Denver was up for the part as he's up for every single part. Get her out of the house before you revive her. Didn't anybody ever tell him about stop, drop, and roll? Exactly. Stairs have gone! Come on! Give it to me! I got it! Now you get the hell out of here! That's the last time we played talking heads in this house. Sorry, be back for you later. They're coming out now, and the girl is with them. But there's only one fireman that has come out. Two have gone in. We can only tell if the girl is unconscious as she comes out of the building. I'm going in for a look. You stuck my battleship. There's a house on fire, and they're playing Risk. The are really becoming very, very strong. One of the firemen is still trapped inside. Oh, we, we see Captain Risley going back in. Put on right a now mask. With, uh, a couple other firemen. They're obviously trying to save their buddy, which is still inside that burning building. The flames going higher and higher all the time. The heat must be fantastic inside that burning building, and they've gone in to save the ring of fire. Order 11 and 406. We get a false trying. Didn't get a reading. Oh, it's unsteady. Your eyes are dilated. It's not an easy thing to do, you know, quit. Just keep your sister alive, I don't know. You might want to think about it. How much do you smoke? Oh, about a house a day. <laughs> what happened? Is she all right? Is she dead or what? I would think or what is a more simple answer right now. Bring plenty of sports gear to these things. Wouldn't you? What happened? Is he still breathing? Did you get a pulse? What happened? You know what happened? What happened there? Did you get her name? He's a really? great reporter. Is she unconscious or what? About to get run over by an ambulance. It'll be a much happier, kinder, gentler movie when we come back. on 
the side there off to our right as your cameras uh, look at it right now. So, of course, we'll be watching this fire very, very closely. Commander, have units 4 and 11 stand by. Give me Captain Risley. Uh, right, Chief. This is perfect. I love it. This is great. <laughs> Jesus, here he comes. Hey, I just got this month's actuals, you guys, off the computer, and we're way over on WD-40. Somebody's been uh, abusing their privileges. I think we're going to have to cut back. Hey, let me look now, Servo. It's my turn. Let me no look. No way. Wow, she's fabulous. What are you looking at, Servo? Fabulous Russian cosmonaut babes over at Salyut 7, and they haven't drawn their shades. Wait a minute. Let me look at Take that. Take a look. I don't, wait a minute, I'm not seeing it. I don't see anything. You guys have the lens cap on. It's off. How can you, are you guys nuts? How do you expect to see anything? Oh, really? Uh, I thought for sure I saw something. Uh, it, it must be our, uh... uh, uh optical sensors. Yeah. yeah, they must need work. <laughs> Say, hey, Joel, did anyone ever tell you you look like Petey from our gang? No, I don't know, hey, I don't hey, know what you're uh, talking about. Hey, Joel, time for our <laughs> trivia quiz. Okay. Uh, in the mid-60s, what was the slogan of Terry 10 Cigarettes? Uh, I'd rather <laughs> fight than switch. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, you guys, that wasn't funny at all. Well, it was funny from where I'm standing. <laughs> hey, cool. What's for dinner? Black-eyed peas? <laughs> you better beat it. We got a commercial sign. Is that funny? <laughs> International symbols, clever drawings by clever people. Sign language, no words. Trouble is you need someone to tell you what the no words don't mean. Sounds like viewer mail. You look older. I am older. Yeah, I guess jet sitting around, you know, marrying one guy, burying another. I, I look older, too. He's hurt. Here, you're only good for bed and breakfast. Well, sometimes Ooh. they skip the breakfast. By the way, the ba story is that uh, I had to go to bed with you to get this job. Really? Get that man a saucer of milk. Well, I did go to bed. It couldn't have been Cat oh, That is El that grande. No, I think if I made a house call, I think... Uh, Caddy to a fault. <laughs> Is it tough being accused of betting your way to the top? Morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. No, but living with the nickname The Wad is. I love Paul. I love David. I did. I loved all the men. He's very wealthy. He chews a lot of gum. Well, how many were there? How many with you? I don't know. Two, three hundred. No, no, no. I, I had a bicycle. <laughs> Still fast. I paid three million dollars for this walk, but could we get it over with? Doctor, how's my sister? Hello, Joe. Hey, Smokey. She's got a very good chance. Smokey Joe. Is, uh, is your father coming to get you? You sure my sister will be all right? You bet she will be. He's Maybe had, he could be the new hatter. Maybe we, he could be the new Terrid and Ad Joel. <laughs> we just need a lung donor. Oh, she's pretty, is she not? I raised it from a pup. Mrs. Bogdanovich brought it for bottle. Debbie, but birds aren't allowed here. Oh. Well, you better hide her over there. <laughs> they won't know anything if I just walked around with a tweeting piece of cloth. Dr. Watts. We went to the same school, now. same lousy neighborhood, the pits. Diana brought her to the trip. And me. I love her. She studied I right gotta now. have her. Every senior at Sycamore High was in love with her. And she goes and marries some guy 30 years older. Governor. 30 years older. Governor. Here. 30 years older. Nobody listens. I could flip this mop on. It's okay, fire. Herman. I'll go mop over there. Yeah, why don't you do that? Don't mop under the psycho. Psychotic one what? I'll show him. And she goes and marries another old man. <laughs> I don't understand.
understand why wouldn't you want to marry a refinery janitor? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> but you're gonna listen. <laughs> Makes me feel safe. Quite enough to me. Just building the perfect woman. Forty-seven feet. Danger. Now, does this mean he's going to be killed? I mean, eventually, by the flames? By someone? I don't think this is the proper procedure for turning it off. Yeah, it feels good, don't it? Yeehaw! It's raining gas. Hallelujah. Hmm? What the? Wait. Hey, boss. What's wrong with the stacks? Well, I got a short stack. Tasted good. Did you say we're back? building up a lot of pressure. This is wonderful. Go ahead on four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That's just oil, and those are all popcorn bins. It's, it's a make, gas. It's going to make the world's largest salute to Orville Renbonker. Or wouldn't you if you could? Yeah. I was at a party once where Orville and his nephew Gary got into a real fist fight. It was really wicked. Blew the top right off of father. Did he <laughs> pop him one? Well, Gary's always kissing up to him. He just blew it. Well, he invented microwave cheese corn, though. Diana, Diana, speaking of cheese... Dr. Whitman? Johnny? <laughs> I was beginning to think you were avoiding me. <laughs> Morning. Boy, she's the big pass around at the hospital. And I never very far, believe me. It's worth 35 million dollars. Well, you change your mind and it's join the, the hat. speakers, uh, platform, Dr. Whitman? No, no, I don't think so, really. It would look better, you know, the head of a new hospital. Well, it may look better, but I don't think it would sound better. I don't think you'd like what you'd be hearing. But what's eating you now? You have a new job, and the city has a beautiful new hospital. Well, leeches Some and parasites are eating you now. It looks real good on the outside. But thanks to your political favors here and there. See, I'm stuck with a patch-up job. Well, nothing is perfect. Everything is compromised. Now, if you're the mayor of a big city and you want to get things done, you have to learn to give and take. And build well, a shoddy hospital. To a surgeon about compromise during an open-heart operation, huh? Grr. Uh, Dr. Whitman. Coffee cans for suction, that's just ridiculous. When I call on you, I expect you to come up and speak. And I expect to come up and speak. Is that a challenge? If you'd like to put it that way. Will you just do that, Mr. Mayor? I look forward to it. And to have his name on a memorial devoted to life, as he was devoted to life and to people, Except when he was would dead. please him enormously. He loved this city and was proud of its success, particularly the last 10 years. And so it's with great joy with the that I present the, the check $3 million to the chairman of the board of directors. I loved her. I'll show her. I'll create a river of gasoline never matched in film or in real life. Only Cecil B. DeMille has seen hey. fire of this size. Big flame.
sloppy river of gas. I bet Smokey's gonna make another fatal mistake where he throws his butt. Probably be into that little river. Hey, I like your aftershave. <laughs> More like furling water. <laughs> Should we be watching this? Hey, do you smell gas? Okay. Nah. That's well done. Hmm. This is going to be a short movie, I think. Reporting. Birchwood is a control situation. I repeat, Birchwood is under control. It's the rest Harrison. of the city that has yes, crispy critter potential. Harrison, Joe Waller didn't make it. I'll go see his wife myself. That's an odd Did a name. good job at Birchwood, Captain. Thank you, sir. It's the gas monster! Whoa! Patty mouth! City on flame. Hot and juicy. Moist and needy. Stop! Drop and roll! Bernie, come Stop, back! Stop! Drop and roll! Good. No. No, well, he, roll. Got, he got the stop. Part. Don't just drop. <laughs> <laughs> he got the stop and the drop. Stop dropping. Do a number. Stop dropping by the farm. Everybody jump. Yeah! I'd like to introduce to you now Whew. the new head. Thank God, a jump cut. Hospital. It was not an easy choice, it was quite difficult. Guys at the Sterno refinery are driving out. Hey, well, can I take the, the truck room. home? Yeah, let's shift I gotta move a couch. Neat little hibachi. That'll wake the dog up. Dogs always do have a keen sense of natural disaster way before humans, I think. Gotta come out of your tuck faster. Guess what swear word she said? I think she said fudge. I'm the refiner. That sounds like the refinery. That was a beauty. That's a six point. No, he, he didn't tuck his legs. Run for your lives! When a city is on fire. When the camera is not locked down, there's Shelly Winters. What if you threw an inferno and nobody came? On the other hand, what if everybody came? Boy, think of the marshmallow manufacturers. They're really going to clean up. They lost their city, but they got to eat their weight in s'mores. Oh, thank God he fell into a pool. Oh, that hey! That happen. He must have had a lot of gas. Look on his face. He's he feels a little personally responsible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last one he takes, I think, so. Uh, oh. A the cook's gonna do something. Oh, are you alright? Ow! Oh. 
Marcus couldn't go over and kick Leslie Nielsen. Remain calm. All is well. The guy had a smoking jacket. Everybody's got a smoking jacket. For a better future, not. Little poodles. Lift him up. Women with terms. We just gotta bring the whole crew of Shelly up. Okay, relax, okay? Move Stay away from the barbecue sauce. Everybody, cough up the fluid of your choice. Two people with full bladders to the front of the fire line. Start barking out odors. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you mean? He was in trouble? Ooh. He's in the canyon? Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's got a brim of gasoline heading towards him? That'll <laughs> well, be the end of that pain. There goes Fargo the Clown. No one's free of the wrath of the evil fire. Clowns, mimes, cartoon characters, everybody's in there. That's where they got the idea for the towering inferno. Over 60 fires have shot it already. I haven't been able to reach them there. Get a code nine, so I'm no. assuming Command Mike. Raider of the government to mobilize the National Guard. It's Henry Fonda, one of America's finest actors County, speaking, yes, and you're walking out on his favorite death monologue. Yes, sir. Martin, Martin Show them respect uh, for the first man of Caesar. Yes, sir. And what are you waiting for? Everyone, and I mean everyone, is subject to immediate recall. Stella, yes, sir. I want to talk to both Police Chief Abrams and Councilman Haley. Encouraging purse snatchers. Uh, I'll show you how it works. Uh, let's pretend I'm a woman, okay? Ho, ho, ho. Hey, Jolene, what a lovely wrap you have on. Oh, Crow, oh, you've got no finesse. Watch and learn from the master. Hey, babe, you, me, Mango Fest. How about it? Uh, I don't think so. I need a real. Wait a minute, this is all wrong. I I'm getting off track here now. Oh. Let me explain this to you. On Earth, Women carry their valuables in a handbag like this, okay? Now, if we were on there, you could use this, but sometimes criminals try to steal that purse, okay? Well, what if the women carry a wallet? Well, if they carry a wallet, uh, it's smaller and uh, it's harder to get at, but I'm mostly concentrating on this handbag. How about a knapsack? Uh, okay, Crow, that's enough. Uh, what about one of those funny little coin things that you squeeze the sides and they always seem to rip? Okay, and, now and listen, coin... listen Crow. Them. Yeah, listen, Crow. I want you guys to reach way back in your memories and come up with that thug algorithm that I programmed you with. Oh, okay, um, okay, I got it. Okay. Hey, Vinny, yo, bro. Hey, listen, my friend, uh, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to rip off your butt, wrap it around your neck, and make you an extra pair of shoulders. Yes, says who? Says me. I think you guys got it. You and what I mean? Okay, listen. Now, you, I think you guys got it. I'll play the part of a pedestrian, and you guys try to snatch the purse. Are you sure you don't want a knapsack? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. All right, 33 toes. I distract the skirt. You grab the booty, okay? Yo, babe, you, me, mango juice, capiche? I don't know what you're talking about. Go for the crow now. Grab the purse. The purse. Ah! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's just a thing called hell in a handbag, right? <laughs> Get it? I'm sorry, Crow, but <laughs> the look on your face when it lit up, oh, oh it kills me. <laughs> it almost killed me, too. Joel, why'd you do that? Well, it's just my way of getting back at you two front and loader heads for getting that junk all over my eye earlier. I'm sorry. We got movie stars! <laughs> Getting a little lightheaded here. The whole world's on fire, and that turkey picks now to get loaded. Ten seconds. Imagine what she could do with Nine, a bigger stage. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Uno. This is Maggie Grayson reporting. And I'm Schnocker. At 12.37, the Manson Refinery, the ninth largest in the world, erupted with devastating force. The cause is as yet unknown. The massive refinery... But we think it's a little kid. ...public protest covered some 300 acres and has a supposed storage capacity of 15 million gallons. The initial casualty reports are staggering. Okay. And fires are raging out of control all over our city. And she's the multiple explosions too. have created havoc and total destruction of a Thank large part. Thank you for showing us that. Whoa! Perfectly symmetrical explosion. You don't get those often. Nice. It's like creature from the gross lagoon. It's like the back, back lot of Universal caught on fire. Hey, this little button doesn't work. Ah, he got it too. All done? I do. I'm a hell of a mess in this one, Johnny. I put for that refinery. Yeah. I told you not to rip out That's your nose every one time. Yesterday you're a hero, and today you're a fool for exactly the same reason. Come on, come on. I don't know what the hell to do. Can't get through on the phone to Risley or Abrams or anybody. Get out of this film as quick as you can. No, it's bad. You can turn it around and make it good. God damn it, Johnny. Don't humor me. I don't know how to deal with this one. On top of it all, you picked the day to go ahead and get a heart attack. Hey, they're at it again. Hey, Johnny. Never, I've always loved you, Johnny. Never admit that you were wrong about the refinery. Now, don't you go dying on me, for Christ's sake. Come on. Uh, you'll be governor. He'll do it. Bet you seven bucks he'll do it, kid. Huh? Eh? Welcome. <laughs> Doctor, are you looking for my Doctor Blow. Doctor Blow. No, that one doesn't look good. No, he's too gross. No, I don't want to touch him. Where's that nurse? Here's a good looking. Oh no. Ooh, eighty five W. Maybe forty. Doctor Whitman, look at this, please. He's just pinching each just person. Seeing if they're done. Dr. Henry, this is Dr. Henry, I want everybody out of the hospital, everybody, except patients and doctors. That means all visitors, administrative staff, security guards, everybody out. And you try the Prince Street accident, that'll still be safe. I want you to do it right now. We still need all the room we can for the sick ones, okay? Right now? She's got to go. We need oxygen! Yeah. You shouldn't have tried to feed him baby food. Whoa. Come on up. What happened? Oh, I feel woozy. Kind of oogie myself. I don't want you guys falling apart on me. Yee. Um, yeah. You're Diana. supposed to clean it first. Yeah. I found some. Two people choking and one person you know, vomiting. I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can do that again. Come on. Come on, hurry okay. up. Okay. He's good at opening up those passages. Please, my son. Okay, come on, son. Yeah. No, my son. No, we have to find him a room. There aren't any. Well, we'll find some. I've always loved you. Right over here. Okay. I think you're wild. Not now. Come on, all visitors out of the hospital. No, I mean now. Come on. But I'm the producer. Who's going to argue with Shelley Winters? <laughs> Ernest Borgnine. Sorry, lady, we need this room. Hey, you can't take me out of here. Look at a baby. A baby born in a car door is illegitimate. I don't like it, Sam. <laughs> 
Those fires look awful close to me. And a pregnant woman about to give a child is, uh, has got a sense of humor. bad taste. I about it. It took me a while, I'm but I got it. I'm thinking about how I want to lift a collector. Man, will you get to work? Some of those out. The casualties. Babies? I'm now close to 3,000. Clyde, would you feel like you're getting graded? To complicate matters, water pressure has fallen considerably. Despite the help of neighboring communities, the scattered locations of fire are more than the combined firefighters. No, now, as night approaches, looting has become. Spit it out, baby. Bring them in from the time. The hell you can't. Jesus. It's almost more than the National Guard. And the police can cope with Come on, Jim. No. Relax. Have a cigarette. Ain't that the jump spot on you, Captain? Excuse me, there's a man falling off a building in front of you. Don't you get off my back. Zoom in on that, please. Go ahead, have one. Everybody's doing it. Why do you think they call it fire? Look, I just want to get in there. No, I'm not a looter. I just want to get some fire. Oh, My stash is in there. No, I can't. He left his album. Half the city will go down stone if you don't let my, my building go down. I don't know what that meant. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. Terrific. Oops. Oh. His future's so bright he's gotta wear asbestos. That's Nitro gotta hurt. I've heard of nitro burning funny cars, but never funny nitro cars. <laughs> Okay, Terry. Or nitro okay, burning okay. a funny car. Quick, rip some dirt in there. Yeah. New meaning to the word Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hundred eighty seven fires have already been reported out of control. Here, here. Stratego. And here we have a little chance of preventing total destruction. You can pretty much count that as one big fire, I think. Prepare for demolition. Prevent the fires from spreading any further. At that point, probably Chief separate Rizzi, problems. I do would think be the we right should first attitude. confer with Mayor Dudley. Councilman, when you can contact him, you'll confer. In the meantime, I'll take the responsibility. Andrew, what's the latest forecast? Do you have any lifesavers? Dry weather with northeasterly winds increasing 20 to 30 miles an hour. Gentlemen, gather around. Take a look. Here's the hospital. Only the area to the south of the hospital is unthreatened so far. My God, the hospital's gonna burn. We just built the damn thing. My biggest concern at the moment is the danger of a firestorm. A what? If the fire surrounds the hospital, burn up the oxygen. The people suffocate. We've got to find a way to communicate with the hospital. Chief, these TV the high phone. angle shots were taken from the roof of the Paul Brockers Hospital. Maybe there's a way to talk to those guys up there. What How about smoke for? signal? Get in touch with the station. Yes, sir. Anybody out there? I'm here, I'm here, nurse. Nurse Collingwood to X-ray. Nurse Collingwood to X-ray. Yeah. We understand, Jubo. You can count on us. Thanks, Jimbo. We're doing our best. Yeah. Sam, the fire's getting closer. Get going, you heard Who the would man. hire a producer named Jimbo? No cause for alarm whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe a four alarm. What medical school taught you to do this? All right, here, I'll listen. Now, why don't you help us? Uh, I'm a janitor. How come it always sounds like Shelly Winters is eating something? Uh, have you had babies before? Ah, sure, too. Oh, well, uh, do you think you have to have this one right now? For you. Maybe another half an hour. Oh, good girl. I think maybe you could have it on your own with no help. 
Okay, let's be taken. Move along. Come on, everybody. That's it. Okay, that's when the cooks take over. I think you could have the baby while running away from the city. The cooks take over when the city's in May. Come on, come on, keep moving. Do you mind tell me what's going on out here with the ambulance, is it? Uh, not a bit, Mr. Mayor. You know, it seems that there was some idiot who let them build a refinery right in the middle of the city, and this is the result. And I bet it was you. I really would like to hear you talk yourself out of this boo-boo. Hit mind her. telling me what's going on out here? Doctor's orders. Dr. Whitman wants the rest of the hospital evacuated in a hurry. Oh, sounds you could painful. Do both of us a favor, Mr. Mayor. Get yourself in one of those trucks. Okay. We'll keep you out of the governor's mansion. Don't take any bets on it. Well, I ain't gonna vote for you. Because I'm just gonna be a kielbasa. And a big one. She'd kind of be a good Thuringer sausage. Smokehouse flavor. Someone suggested we use artificial flavors in creating a better Shelly Winters, and we said no. We smoke it to perfection. Gang, attention. Now listen, we're all gonna play a little game now. Okay? Nice pants, Barry. Now you all know how to play follow the leader, okay? Yeah. I know how this is called to follow the burning doctor. doctor. I'll take all your tonsils out, you understand? I don't want my tonsils out. Okay, everybody, come on. Get in line. I just want my tooth back. Get ready. Come on, kids. Follow me or you're all cocktail weenies. No. Here we go, okay? Now remember, you gotta do everything that I do. Here she comes. Ready? Hope that nurse doesn't show up. Sorry. George, I'll come back for you, okay? Just thought I'd look after you. I mean, everyone has to stop and say that to George now. Here we George go. Now. Follow the leader. Boom, 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 Hey guys, let's go follow the dorky doctor. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That was a good idea to waste just lots of time when trying to get them out of a burning building. I hope he doesn't stop to get somewhere to stop. Go away, little girl. What on earth is the matter with you, you silly old man? Can't you see what I was trying to do before you stopped me? something about that. You're in for that? Aha, uh -huh. Bill. Ooh, what? Well, don't stand there. Come on, help me. Get him up. Wait a minute. Whoops. Better yeah. now? I'm going back out of City Hall. I want you to come with me. Sleep. We can make it now. We're we may not be able sleep. to do it later. I, I can't. I, I can't. Diana. Just... Oh. <laughs> Johnny died. Now you gotta love him. Nurse, look at the stone I passed. It looks like Mount Rushmore. I'm ready. Okay. Shooky boom boom boom. Shooky boom 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 boom. Kids, look what this guy just did. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. We brought him outside just so we could do that. It's a tricky way to bust these kids. Hey, girl. You're not going to put that smelly old guy out the bus without now, are you? I'd rather die in the fire. You will if you put him on the bus. Yeah, what? Chief Risley wants her. Wants me where? On the roof. On the roof. That's the TV crew. TV? For Christ's sake, now you're telling Get this. The biggest disaster in United States history, and they're televising it? What Sec the? Second biggest. What's the first biggest? I don't know. It was in the trailer. Maybe it was the opening of the tomb. Or the making of Ishtar.
Hey. I've got a plumber on my back. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, you have got to get back. Take the plan. We just got to go ahead from the network. We're going national. National with you as liaison between Dudley and Risley. Yes, you can, Maggie. You can, you can, sweetheart. Yeah, listen, listen. If I had something. No, no, this you're gonna have to do without that. No, no. Oh, you put on the dress. You do it. Silly me great. You'd be Phil look better than you. Silly me great. You want to, don't you? Maggie, listen. You trust me. <laughs> you make, make a good camera oh, woman. Yeah, and I guess me an anchor woman. Oh, I you. Haven't always you. Been here. You've yes, seen you through every my show. Darling, yes. You need to make a good boat anchor. Right. Intelligent, bright, beautiful. Oh, yes. Job of the you anchor person. Did you see I am? You're going to be bright, intelligent, and you're going to be beautiful. I promise you, she's going to be just wonderful, man. You rotten. No, no, it's all right now. Wet teeth is always good for the ratings. Thank you. Just stay like that. Now I'm going to bring in the yeah, record crew. I will. I'll get even with you. I will. I love you too, sweetheart. You rotten. I'll see you on the set. Ten minutes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Maybe I could do something oh. different with my hair. Oh. Fix her. Cars in that stock footage are at least 10 years older than the film itself. It was a classic car rally. Second annual refinery auto show. Hey, that's Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto. Doing a cameo on that. Rampart, how do you read? Well, I don't know, Johnny. I never got past third grade. And if your car breaks down or gets into trouble of any kind, pull it off to the side of the road. Traffic must be kept moving. Traffic must move right along. Pretty much a voluntary traffic jam, I think. Oh, yes, that woman on the third bed is bleeding from the nose. Mop her up a bit, will you? I need something for pain. All right. You ever given an injection? That'd be ridiculous. Of course not. No, my pain. Go in the air and you just pretend it's an arm. Come on, come on, you can do it. Get an IV ready. There could be a perforated ulcer. See if there's any blood in the bank. Kind of a malpractice circus going on. What's taking so long? Okay, go to Bill then. Go to Bill, Garrett. Where's the sound? Mayor Dudley, can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, Miss Grayson. I hear you very well. Let's try to patch in the chief. Hey, Marty, looks like uh, Jimbo's starting a weekend. He's, he's smoking. He's smoking. Uh huh? Yeah, he's smoking. There, he did it. I'll be damned. Chief Risley. Go ahead, Chief. Can you hear me? Can you hear her, Chief? Kind of Can you not hear me, Chief Risley? Yes, yes, I do, Miss Grayson. I apologize. But we have no time for formalities. Mayor Dudley, are you having difficulty breathing? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Mr. Mayor, I'm afraid the hospital may be caught in a firestorm. Chief Risley? Sound like a maelstrom? Does that mean that the people in the hospital are in danger of suffocating? Mayor Dudley, it's very important that everyone in the hospital get out of the area as quickly as possible. Skedaddle. We hadn't figured that out with all those flames and everything, but probably this isn't a good place to be. Well, let's get out of here then. It's a hell of a shot. It's a hell of a shot. Incredible shot. So the courage that I've seen today, these guys are... Oh, the wall has collapsed on top of the fire. He's on fire. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Building. Oh, my God. There's a dog up there. I can't imagine how he got there, but it doesn't look like he has much hope. Building is about to collapse. It's going to go any minute. Pick it up double time now! 
Lift your head up to the sky. Lift, Lift your head, head up to the sky. sky. Satellite love is passing by. Satellite love is passing by. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Robot contacts made a gold. Robot contacts made a gold. We follow Joe wherever he leads. We follow Joe wherever he leads. The scientists, however, are a couple dick weeds. Scientists, however, are a couple dick weeds. Well. Sound <laughs> off. One, two. Sound, Sound again. Three, three, four. King's call. One, two, three, four. One, two. I don't want to complain, I don't want to whine I don't want to complain, I don't want to whine Don't look, now it's movie star Back up, we can't go any further yeah, We'll never get through that, let's get out of here, man Oh, never get through that The street's blocked Nothing can get through that. We're on. Nothing can get that. Get Shelly Winter. She could get through that. Just give her a push. Breathe on it, Shelly. Uh, Chief Grizzly, let's get some helicopters out here. And get everybody to sing Kumbaya. It's changing so drastically, it's impossible. However, we can try something else. Get my son on the radio. And get my daughter, Jane, in here to do her aerobics. Peter? Company 27 we to need the, the easy Street rider. The Bring your Captain Company America thing. To the and Bucky, of the put a bunch of heroin hospital. in your gas tank and drive on through it. Harrison, to get those people out of the Who hospital... Who do you want more in a crisis situation than Dennis tunnel. Hopper? Roger. I'll report on arrival. We'll you want to know what fear parents. is, man? Take a load off, Henry. You okay? Yes, thanks. But I'm worried. Dr. Whitman says there's no more oxygen even for Debbie. Well, we can't use oxygen with the fire all around us. Give her his <laughs> oxygen. Not too much, just a few drops at a time. Hmm? Give her some kid. A couple drops of oxygen? Yeah. Well, water. Part of it. Part of oxygen is water. Terry James. Oh, the photographer. The one you had arrested. Don't, don't move too much. You're losing strength. And it's skin. Right. I got the pictures. Huh? I know you. The camera never lies. Doctor, I think we found our I blood donor. Terrific. I see you. Everything about you. They're gonna know you, Diana. You buy pictures. Hmm. That guy's pretty much beef jerky anyway. He's a slim Jim. Psycho. Diana, I guess you don't remember high school. Mrs. Latrack, can you help me, please? It's reunion day. High school. Diana, do you yeah, remember you this year voice? I graduated. Listen. Get him out of here, quick. What the? You were trying to hurt her. That's bad. Very bad. 27 on site at Prince Street. Army support has arrived and paramedics are on route. We keep going back to the same street. Captain Presley surveying us. Different situation. angle. It's on fire. Of course, we keep going back. You know how, much, how expensive fire is these days. There's no match for fire. That deserves some Barney Rubble laughter. <laughs> okay, Chris. I said Bud Light. Oh, stop the comedy. Turn it off. <laughs> Come on, son. You can't stay out here. He was a it's kamikaze. Close that door, lady. 
a fry out there. She's got baby yeah, food yeah, on yeah. her, too. I can't come in there anymore. Yeah. Oh, God. She's invisibly soft. Patricia Neal for Maxwell House. Rope Patricia from the train. That's the way. Cool onion team. Everybody's gone surfing. Flame on. I love. Chief, Mayor Dudley needs to cover the first hundred yards from his end. Can you find out if there are any hosts at the hospital? Shelly Winters is pretty good. The first hundred yards has hey. to be covered. Hey, hey. Are there enough hoses at the hospital? I don't know. I'm going to check on it. All there is here is just a bunch of empty plastic eggs. There's no holes to be found. I think there was some looting going on. That was a pretty lame one. Thank you very much. At least it took a long time. Skeleton. Really went out on a limb for it. Give me an emergency land. Switch into manual oxygen. Right here. Whitman. Whitman. Chief Christmas. Get Christ out of here. here. Oh, this is urgent. I said get out of here. Hit him. They're in the middle of something real. Oh. Okay. That was real enough for me. Thank you. I was saying, Mr. Mayor. Let's see how much really gross stuff we can pack into an hour and a half or so. Help, my hose, my hose. Notice there's no laugh track during this sequence. Who would have thunk it? You're a patient, doctor. Okay, let's stitch you up. That's fine, I can take that. Stitches. Can you just remove a slinky from her? You know where the fire hose stations are in the hospital and the water supply hookups? Do you know where they are? Yeah, I think so. Well, good. Show them to me, will you please? They're in the little glass bins marked fire hose. You really have a doctor. Look at that leg. Doctor, after what I just saw, I think I'll pass on that. Franks, get Mason and come with me. Oh, awesome. They don't have any hose left, but they could use lots of that intestine. Come on, man. Will you hurry it up? Hose, 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 hose. Oh, it is kind of hose. <sighs> Mrs. Adams, you can't. Hold it. Not now. Put a lighter time like this. Huh? Well, you've got to hold it until I find someone. It's not up to me anymore. <sighs> oh. Those kind of muscles are pretty much gone by now. I, uh, you have to tell me what to do. A Get a catcher's mitt. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I'll help you. Boil Thank some you. water. Boil some newspapers. Well, they had to tell the last two doctors what to do, too. I think I videotaped the last two births of my baby. Oh, exploding laundry. His bag. There's instructions tattooed on my back. That's how she got into this house. 
That one disappeared. It must be the laundry room. The dirty ghost. Gee, what's in here? Don't look behind that door. Usually a good indication that the doorknob is scalding hot. Don't open the door. Nobody Ooh. read their fire rules, did they? Another Dick Van Dyke tip. If your hand fuses to the doorknob, leave the area. Leave your hand if necessary. Oh. Yeah, you gotta keep her warm. It's movies like this that keep the latex industry in business. I want everybody evacuated immediately. Oh, sounds painful. I wish you'd stop saying that. They're pulling the plug on everybody? Let's go. Everyone must go. They're stripping down to the bare wall. These prices are crazy! <laughs> I'll take a pound of chuck. Champagne goes right through me. All right, let's get down front. That's as far as it'll go. What? That's all there is. All right. Good idea to we'll pump all the water out of the hospital as quickly as you can. soak you all with water. He's going to follow you as far as he can. You got it? Then the fireman, the fireman will cover you the rest of the way until you reach safety. Lawrence, what's up with Until you, you reach the up. next fire. No! Leave her. I'll take care of her. Safety's only 150 miles away. Everybody go before you leave. Everybody get some. Who's next? It's part of the hospital hazing process. You're standing on the edge of a cliff. Mason, get a sheet and get him out of here. Okay. All right, you can go next. Yeah, take this with you. Fine. You'll lose the walk. All right, sir. Oh, oh. 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 All right, hold on. All right, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Maybe if it's cold that way. That was a pinto. They look like wieners running away from a kettle. Kind of like pigs in a blanket. He's getting away. Hit him with the hose. Nitrous. This is better than smoking. Try some of mine. 
gets toasted. Starts bold, finishes clean. What air was, what air is. under a flaming awning. It's also bad luck to have a charred cat cross your path. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Falling down. My fair burning. reason why birds aren't allowed in hospitals. They're the first ones to go. Dun 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 Deliverance. It's a joke. At least the baby will already be soaked when it comes out. We'll have to waste water on it. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not human. Oh! Uh, stay there. Stay there now. All right, go quickly. All right. Hold it. Hold it. It's a good one. All right, move on. Yeah, make sure you get water in every wound. It's okay, he's already wet. I suppose he's got to go again. If it wasn't enough to just put his hand in warm water, they got to douse him. Follow the goofy doctor. Why don't they concentrate some of that water on some of these fires? Couldn't get federal disaster relief aid. They're tearing it all down to build a new mall. A mega mall. One that will put the Germazian brothers to shame. They've always got Terra, though. Frankly, Haji. Tomorrow's another disaster. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Fire beneath you, you're gonna bring the feet in. Chief? Where's Captain Ken when you need him? Move along. He's making s'mores. Come on, back there. Let's go. Bring him along. Come on, everybody out. We got to get out before the commercial. Everybody's gonna get put down on there. So remember, they're gonna soak you down, get completely soaked. Everybody, get those grills. Officer, you. Here. Here, take this. Change him. I think we have a Pinewood Derby winner here. Hey, I'll see you next baby round, Doc. You got a date. We're looking forward to it. Move on. She forgot her baby. Hold him, hold him. The poor scent is not flammable. Get him. I've got your pictures. Bouncing around by them. Why the hell did you go? I have no charge. <laughs> Webster! Where's Webster? It's Jason, I think. What is that? Huh? Stop it! Dum-dum-dum-dum-dum! 
His name is Soap, but I'm guessing he's pretty easy to cook. Stouffer's souffle. That was Shelly's love. Shelly will save him. Oops. Or take a building trying. You gotta go. Ooh. It was her time. Well. Well, now he doesn't have to worry together. about her not voting for him. At least they went together. That's what they always wanted. Oh, even the fire hose is on fire. I think that'd be pretty much self-extinguishing, though. Go, 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 go. But not for Barry Newman. <laughs> Shelley's Woodruff. All right, you proved your point. Now get through the fire. First, you baste the turkey. Baste the patient. Barry Newman was Edmund Newman's dumber brother. Randy Newman, too. Alfred E. Newman. Short robot god. Oh! Oh, golly. Cooking with Barry. Who should have rolled? He makes a lovely addition to all your favorite stews and broths. Try him with broccoli. Mmm, mmm. Makes a lovely sauce. Kill Shelly Winters off with the fall of an awning, but no. He's got to walk around in this inferno and be saved by a coddling bear. You got to light a fire pretty early in the morning to burn Barry Newman. It's a good thing he took that assertiveness training seminar. He's toast. Those are two of the men she's loved out of 90. So she's, she's got a thing for Barry? Both of them. And now they're friends. Now they're under the blanket. She's an old flame. <laughs> the Pop-Tart. Fresh out of the toaster. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> What could be more funny than this? <laughs> hey, next weekend, let's go skiing. An entire city and thousands of people died. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, 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 my side. Oh. I hope those guys know enough to not drive back to the hospital with them. Doing? That'd be even more tragic. Hey, move up! Move up! Everybody out! Leave the city. Come on, you're fighting a fire. It's not a Pepsi commercial, you guys. You're not getting a Miller after this. Whoa, good call. This is the city. The city of flame. It's the opening of M.A.S.H. You're right. Choppers. Attention all personnel, all medical employees, whatever. I've, I've left my mouth, thank Heard you. Heard anything about Jeannie and the kids? Yes, they're okay. Toast. See you later, Dad. Take care. How Pick up some fried chicken on the way home. Hero. 
Well, the real heroes of this tragedy are the people of this fair city. And my producer. You know, uh, this won't work. Why? It, it holds water I drank from it. It worked fine. <laughs> Learn how to make it a brownies. Wait a minute. a major catastrophe to reiterate to yourself who you really love. See, the best thing about this movie is the major, the plot apex came ten minutes into it, and the past hour and a half has been just Maggie, ending. you were terrific. Mm, wasn't I? And now can I have that drink? Come on. I'm buying it. Oh, good. Harbor and alcoholic. Be an enabler, sure. Low angle, the lighting was fantastic. You look beautiful. Yeah. No, I wouldn't go that far ever. You were tolerable. All it takes is one man to be anybody. Your neighbor, my neighbor, our neighbor, a guy named Stoker. One man to destroy Mr. Roger. the city. Seems like it's still in flames. Maybe kicking back isn't such a good idea yet. Though. It excited me, but most of all, it made me think. Bill Dudley. I don't think he's made a bad film. Sack Linder. Oh. Attendant Franks. And the kids did all their own stuff. The guy who scared the weenies, Doug Smith, attended Frank. You know, Joel, all it takes is one man to make a city into ruin. And it only takes one man to sit in an office and bark out orders Mick while Crow. his son is hey. getting killed. Indians. Kind of sorry Shelly bought it. Yeah, kind of a She Shelley. bought it, but we paid for it. Shelly's wood rose. Yeah. Under that scaffolding. <laughs> we could... Well... <laughs> could we... Well... Come on, spit it out. I just want to leave. I just want to go. You'll miss the credits. This movie doesn't deserve any credit. There's suffering here. I mean, it looks like the audience after every film. That was Ellen Burstyn. Or that other the one. Resurrection. Let's go. No, no, I like this. Bye. See you up in the satellite. guys. Hey, Gypsy, where have you been? Bumping and signing newsletters. Oh, okay. Well, All day. All day long? Well, let's show them what they get. Please uh, write in if you like and become a MST3000 uh, uh, member. member. Yeah, you get the MST3000 fan club certificate suitable for framing. How come I'm not in that? Because you drew it. Oh. And then you got the MST3000 satellite news and your Mystery Science Theater fan club card. Ooh. So write wow. in. And we'll see you next time on Mystery Science Bye. Theater. Bye! Keep those drawings coming. A cocky young private is taunted by his sadistic sergeant even as they land on Guadalcanal. Kier DeLay and Jack Warden star in The Thin Red Line. Next, tomorrow night, when a civilian train is hijacked in Mexico, Rod Taylor and Dennis Cole are called on to get it back in Powder Keg on the Monday movie at 7. Next Sunday, a Maverick Hotel owner aims to turn his place into the top attraction in town. 
Rock Hudson and James Earl Jones star in The Vegas Strip War, next week's Sunday evening movie on TV 23.